Um, I want to begin by saying that um, the gift economy and matriarchy are embedded in the environment like our conference is embedded in the uh, wider conference on mothering and the environment. Uh, mothering itself is a sort of more active uh, part of the environmental niche that uh, species live in and our species lives in. So our, our own species, when they're children, are the creative receivers of the active gifts of the environment as passed through mothers. And I believe that that creates a, a kind of logic of transitivity that happens between the mother and child. Uh, and that, that um, logic, which is um, interpersonal, which passes, something passes from one person to another, it's not an identity logic, but it's an, a logic of transfer, uh, is really the key to um, a whole other way of interpreting the world that we are not using now because, uh, we are at least not consciously using, because we are immersed in patriarchal capitalism and the market. Now the market has a completely different logic which, in which you give in order to receive an equivalent of what you've given. Whereas the gift, you give in order to satisfy the need. And the gift can be passed along from one person to another and create community like that. In fact, the word community comes from Latin for, for gift, muni and it means giving gifts together, as does communication. Just at least to give you the idea of what I'm talking about. Gift giving gives value to the receiver because it, by implication, it is that the receiver would not have been uh, nurtured if, it, if she or he had not been important to the, uh, the giver. So the Giver gives value by implication to the receiver. And there is a, a, a little syllogism of gift giving. Uh, if A gives to B and B gives to C, then A gives to C. So you can see it, it passes around. Uh, in exchange, instead, we have a, an ego-oriented logic because you give only in order to get back. And so you give value to yourself rather than giving value to the receiver of the gift. Um, and exchange actually stops that circulation of the gift and it creates adversarial positions uh, because each person is trying to get more than the other out of the exchange. And in fact, it's really not an equal exchange because uh, profit is uh, desired in exchange and that means that uh, some part of a free gift is being given from one person to the other. Uh, and uh, nobody recognizes it as that. They call it profit, they don't call it a gift, but that is what it actually is. And in fact, the uh, idea of surplus value that Marx had, um, which was the part of the labor that is not paid for in the salary, the, the value over and above the labor in the, that's paid for in the salary, that is a gift from the worker to the capitalist, uh, even if the worker would prefer not to give the gift. <laughs> so it's extorted or uh, taken from uh, the, the, um, from the worker. Um, as happens throughout the market-based economy. Um, in fact, the market takes free gifts from the earth also, and takes free gifts from the future because 
by polluting and saving the money uh, in, its, uh, in its pollution, by saving the money to dispose of its wastes uh, appropriately, it, it pollutes the future and makes the uh, gifts of the future impossible to give. And so um, the market is very much an anti-gift uh, construction. In fact, by giving, in order to receive, you cancel the gift, at, at least at one level. Um, so I'm saying that the problem is the market, not the solution. And instead, our economy, our economists, have been looking at the market as the only solution to all our so-called economic problems. How can we do provisioning of, of, of our um, society without a market is the big question. Well, I don't know, I don't have an answer to how to do that today. There are many different uh, projects and attempts to do that. But I think we really need a paradigm shift that shifts away from the market logic and the patriarchal logic onto the gift logic in all kinds of ways throughout society. So a different paradigm based on gift giving. And the main carriers of this paradigm are mothers. Because we have to do it, not because we're um, altruistic or better than anybody else, but because children have to have it, and otherwise they don't survive. Little children cannot give you back an equivalent of what you've given to them. And in fact, we do have an abundance of milk, usually, if we are able to, um, to eat well, and it's not a, not a uh, sacrificial thing at all. In fact, gift giving functions in abundance really well. It doesn't function in scarcity. And actually, I think there's a, a, a battle going on uh, between the market and gift giving, because the market needs scarcity uh, in order to create hierarchical structures of power over. Because if everyone had enough, they would just give and receive and each other, and nurture each other, and they wouldn't need a market. And so the, actually the gift economy, the gift way, is a much better way of organizing society and of dealing with one another. Um, so the market actually creates the scarcity by wasting the wealth uh, on armaments, on wars, and by channeling the money from the many to the few. So that it creates a big area of scarcity and a, a small area of wealth with the people have all the power. Um, and so this is a very odd situation because the environment doesn't work this way. Uh, the environmental niches don't work this way. This is a new human-made niche which is uh, alien actually to the way we function as human beings. Uh, as human beings are, we live in, in, in the gift all the time without recognizing it. Every breath you breathe is free. Uh, breathing in, it's free. Breathing out is a gift to, uh, to the trees. Um, the, your blood circulates from um, your heart out to, the, to nourish the cells in your body, and that is a free circulation. Um, the wind blows from a high pressure area to a low pressure area, and I always say that's the answer that's blowing in the wind. <laughs> it goes from where there's more to where there's less. Um, I've been working mainly uh, on, in the last couple of years, on language as based on gift giving. And